We're having a girls' day out. So exciting. We're gonna go to HomeSense. All my dreams are coming true. We're gonna get more pillows. Because Lord knows we need more pillows. <laughs> and we're gonna eat burgers. Yeah. Oh my God. Yesterday, I was just dying. I was dying for a burger yesterday. For burger. I just was. It was midnight and I wanted my burger so bad. I'm so miserable. And I'm the kind of person, I scroll on Uber Eats for like an hour and Matt gets mad at me because he's like, you're never going to buy anything. And it's unfortunately true. I look a little like... She her. looks at I Uber look Eats and I scroll for like an and I hour scroll and I'll build and she like buys nothing. a takeout order. And then I'm like, oh... A six dollar delivery fee? No. And, and that's what drives me nuts. He hates it. When any time that she's bored and she looks at me like I'm supposed to plan something. It's like, you're bored, you plan something. Well, there, I did. Yay. Planned my day. Good girl. Yeah. How and mature we're got becoming. Warm one. Thank God. And sun in our eyes. Yay. Photons, everyone. This is what my Nana does. She collects dirty cans off the ground and makes her sweet money every day and it's hilarious because she's such a prissy lady so it's such a weird habit for a prissy person to have what you're the one that told me to you told me to i didn't even show her face as she was dumping them in <laughs> i missed it your mama's a garbage collector how does it feel? You know what? She makes an extra grand a year and you don't. <laughs> so healthy. So excited. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah. See, I love, what do I love? I love square boys and five guys. This is, this is okay, but mama doesn't like my two favorite burger know. places. Oh, Just blows my mind how people can't even put a piece of cheese on the middle of the burger. And then you realize why they work at a burger shop. <laughs> no, 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 no pride in their work at all. Well, like, can you not just put the piece of cheese in the middle of the burger? See, I reassembled it all. <laughs> Milkshake. Now more junk. It never stops with mama. Very pretty. So pretty. We're at home since. Oh my god. All my dreams have come true. Best day ever. I'm having so much fun. I'm so excited. $39. <laughs> this should be ten. How dare they think they can charge $39 for such a beautiful bowl? This kitchen is for dancing. Don't worry, Mama, I'm gonna go and look for a chair. A chair. A nice chair. <laughs> I found the best place in the whole place. A <laughs> nice big comfy peaceful couch. So we brought home that lemon tree. <laughs> and I was waiting till we had a proper pot to plant it. But mama decides to go watering it on our table. Not even considering that there's drainage holes underneath it. I don't it. think about that, guys. A plant is in a bucket, and I'm like, oh, bucket. So and I pour the water in, and even if there is holes, I'm expecting there to be enough soil to soak up the water so that the plant can soak it. That's not how plants work, okay? And now there's a giant water damage stain in my table. And whose fault is that? I'm so mad. I don't want to restain my table. That's so much fun. I know, because if you think about things and pay attention, oh you make half God. the mistakes that you usually make. I'm so, <laughs> so mad about that. Papa is going to teach you how to take care of plants, okay? Some people think you can just take a plant and stick it in a pot. Like me. But no. First of all, if you Where's think... your shirt? No. Why don't you have a shirt? Because I'm not gonna video you okay, unless you put a oh shirt on. Oh my god, no need to be so... It's actually easier and harder if you put it in a pot that has no drain. If you have it in something like this, when you water it, you can just water it and let all the water drain out. Yeah. So it all dries and nothing... And happens. look at this, and this is what happened. Mommy did it! Look! Look! Well, you should have put it on a plate. But now, see, the thing is that putting it in here... The biggest danger 
is that the roots get too, like, they get soaked, they get, like, seeped. And if the roots get all seeped... What does that mean? Like like a swamp, like if it gets all yucky and wet. This is why I was saying you can't put it in a huge pot. I want this to be a little bit elevated. The middle of the plant, I want it to come out a bit. And um, I don't want it to be sitting on just like black soil at the bottom. If it's sitting on just black soil at the bottom, like soil that doesn't like air out, the biggest danger to these is the roots. The roots... It's good in a small pot so that those roots develop and they're able to, when the water goes in, the roots kind of take everything. When you move it to a bigger pot and think it's gonna grow big, all that soil around it will be full of liquid and the roots won't be able to suck up that liquid. It'll end up just sitting there, especially because it's not drained. If it's drained, it's a bit easier because it just all goes through. If you don't want it to be drained, that just means you're giving it like maybe 25% of the water you normally would because it kind of stays in there and it has to kind of air out and then have a bit more. So it actually makes things easier because you don't have to water it much, but it makes it harder because if you water it too much, things are going to go bad in there. Also, when the, the plant goes into something new, it's like a bit of a shock for it. So I'm using cocoa choir at the bottom. All about cocoa choir, it expands a ton, so it goes from that little thing into a nice big fluffy like this piece it's gonna fill up the whole bottom and then we're gonna mix some perlite into it and some soil and then a bit of cactus mix another thing you could do is put clay balls at the bottom so if you go to Ikea they have a good deal on clay balls what's the purpose of all this stuff well if you were to have the clay balls at the bottom it's just it's not just soil right if the soil is sitting on top of the clay balls and the water all goes to the bottom, it drains into the bottom of the clay balls. You get what I'm saying? So, But then if it's just always, if it's just a reservoir down there. Yeah, but if it, it's just that the, the bottom is not just soil, like it's more fluffy and airy. The water still is absorbed by it. Like see in the soil, when the water goes into soil, soil's not like a sponge. It gets wet and it's very thick. Whereas like with this, this is kind of like, like you see the water I put into it? Do you see what it did? You can't really move your hand. All the, all the water disappeared. So I'm gonna still put in like- That, that much? Yeah, but it's all that water is gonna be, it's like a sponge. So just think, it, kind of having a sponge at the bottom versus having the thick soil. Tell everyone about our lemon plant after your extensive research. So we bought it from our local plant shop, and they said it was a mini. Well, they didn't really a say mini. it was a mini. They had all the bloody mini orange plants, and then there was the little lemon, so we thought that it was no, a mini. No, you uh, thought. He yeah. was so insistent on getting a lemon tree, I right, Bubba? I thought it was a mini. Right. Right now, I'm eating. I thought it was a dwarf. And beside a gigantic tree. Well, I don't know. If it gives us lemons, that's all like. If we have fresh lemons, like a ton of them, that'd be pretty cool. And what is our lemon plant? Ponderosa. <laughs> a ponderosa. All I know is that when I looked it up, it's like the bloody <laughs> biggest of all. <laughs> so we go to the store hoping to get a dwarf lemon tree. <laughs> we end up with the bloody largest of all the <laughs> So who knows if it's even going to survive. You know what? Online, they're like 50, 60 American dollars, okay? And I got mine for 40 Canadian dollars, so still, we got the deal. Okay, so see all that water that I put in? See? Do you see it? Wow. Stuff just sucks it up. Okay, so then I'm gonna take so just like soil. And what is that for? For a light? It's like a sponge too, it just kind of absorbs water. The plant whisperer. Who knew? Um, who, okay, now look at this. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, gecko crap. It's poo. Gecko crap and piss. <laughs> Which is disgusting and plants. I think that would be disgusting for plants. A little bit of just like cactus. Cactus mix is also safe all the time too. For what? Like it's more like... I don't know what all this, this doohickey is for. If you had regular, just black soil, it's just like, it's not like this. It's not like fluffy, 
and full of air pockets. So it's good for the roots. It's good because it allows the plant to kind of like breathe and have air. Like you might think you're going to take this and pack it in as tight as you can. And you don't really want that. You want it to kind of have like the, the air pockets everywhere. See? It's like fluffy. You get that? Like versus if it was just dirt? Just think, like, is it easier to get mold on a sponge or on a piece of wood? Piece of wood. Exactly. That but... was my answer. You're not seeing me because I'm eating. I'm going to get this out of here. Oh my god, you bloody just lift up the whole thing. Yeah. Is that what you're supposed to do? There's no rules as long as it comes out nice. I thought you were killing the no, tree. No, no. No, so now I'm also reorganizing how I want it. Yeah, make sure she's in the middle. You don't want to cover the, the, the base. So you don't want to have soil up to here. You want to kind of see those roots. And it was kind of growing slanted before, so I made it now straight. If it starts getting too heavy here, and it ends up where it's going to pull it this way, then I can just snip it so that, to help it grow nice and strong and straight. But that's where all the most pods are. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. This has to be strong, right? So if this, this is strong enough to hold it, great. If it's not, then you snip it off and it'll be fine. We're getting it balanced. But we also, we want the middle to kind of be high so that we see the roots, and then the little slope so it kind of goes out to the edges. And then this now. Are you sure you shouldn't push these roots no, down? No, no, no. Because above the no, soil. No, no, that's fine. Because it's just before they it was growing sideways. It's not gonna. We want it to grow straight. So now, also, this is kind of shocking to the plant. It's new. Usually, you don't only fertilize in the spring and the summer. You don't fertilize in the winter, but you fertilize when you change it into a new pot to kind of encourage it to grow. Another thing that we can do is if it seems like it's struggling, we can cut all the leaves in half so that instead of it producing more, it kind of feeds more what is there. Yes. Yeah, what did daddy do? He made the kid be good. Oh yeah. Daddy hacked the Wii and now we have Mario Kart Arcade. I need to hug you, daddy. On our Wii. Let me hug you. Yeah, baby, yeah. Can I hug you? Yeah. Just hug me. Oh. Ah, I can't believe it. My daddy is a genius. My daddy is a genius. My daddy is a genius. <gasps> Look, he started the game. I Isn't that awesome? Yeah, the arcade experience at home.